You may have heard of electroconvulsive therapy, a medical procedure that involves passing small electric currents through the brain to treat certain mental health disorders. Although it may be considered a controversial and even barbaric treatment, ECT is an effective option for those who have not responded to other treatments such as medication and psychotherapy and can quickly reverse the symptoms of many psychological disorders. But how does ECT work? What are the benefits and risks of this therapy? Let's take a look at the science behind it. Electroconvulsive therapy is performed under general anesthesia, meaning the patient is asleep and does not feel any pain or discomfort during the procedure. A muscle relaxant is also administered to prevent any movement or injury. Electrodes are attached to the scalp and a brief pulse of electricity is delivered, causing a controlled seizure that lasts for a few seconds. This seizure activates or inhibits certain brain regions and chemicals that are involved in mood regulation and cognition. The exact mechanism of how ECT works is not fully understood, but research suggests it may restore the balance of neurotransmitters such as serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine in the brain. It may also stimulate the growth of new brain cells and connections, enhance blood flow and oxygen delivery to the brain, and reduce inflammation and oxidative stress. These changes in the brain may explain why ECT can quickly reverse symptoms of severe mental disorders that do not respond to other treatments. Many patients experience a significant improvement in their symptoms after just a few sessions of ECT. Some studies have shown that ECT can reduce suicidal thoughts and behaviors by up to 80%. However, ECT also has some serious side effects. The most common one is memory loss, with patients often forgetting events that happened before or after the treatment. Other side effects include headaches, nausea, muscle soreness, confusion, and agitation. These side effects are partly due to the high doses of electricity used at that time and the lack of anesthesia or muscle relaxants. ECT is not suitable for everyone. It is usually reserved for patients who have tried other treatments without success or who urgently need rapid symptom relief. It is also contraindicated for patients who have certain medical conditions that increase the risk of complications from anesthesia or seizures, such as heart disease, stroke, brain tumor, or epilepsy. If you or someone you know is considering ECT as a treatment option, you should consult with your doctor about the pros and cons of this therapy. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. You can write your thoughts about the ECT in the comments. See you next time.